David Nichols, bonjour. Un grand merci d'avoir accepté l'invitation de la fringale culturelle. C'est un plaisir de vous rencontrer. Alors pour nous, c'est la toute première fois qu'on vous rencontre. Vous euh, avez publié un, un roman qui s'appelle Un jour, qui a rencontré un succès phénoménal dans le monde entier euh, jusqu'à l'aboutissement d'une adaptation au cinéma, un film. Aujourd'hui, euh, votre actualité, c'est ce roman qui s'appelle Nous, disponible aux éditions Bellefond, et dans lequel vous vous intéressez à un couple dont leur mariage est arrivé en bout de course. Comment est née chez vous l'envie d'écrire sur la crise du couple Because I think I feel too old to write love stories. You know, I feel I'm 48 now and I have two children and I I haven't been on a date for 20 years and I don't know. I'm sure I will write another traditional love story, but I didn't want to write Um, you know, will they, won't they get together? Boy meets girl. I wanted to write something that was a little bit more grown up, a little bit more complicated. I kind of wanted to write what happens next, after the kiss, after the marriage, after the excitement. That seemed to me just as, um, as moving, just as funny, uh, just as painful, just as dramatic as, as, as a, a sort of more, a, a younger form of love. And also I wanted to write about um, family, which I've never really written about. I've never really written about parents and children. And uh, I felt like it was time to, to deal with that subject as well. Alors, au tout, dé au tout début euh, du roman, il euh, y a un sentiment que, que votre personnage féminin ressent, Connie, euh, qu'elle exprime à l'aube d'un grand voyage euh, en Europe, où elle dit, que, comme je l'ai déjà dit, qu'elle que, qu sent que pour elle, c'est la fin du couple. Mais face à cette mauvaise nouvelle qui tombe comme un coup près, euh, finalement, avec ce voyage, vous donnez à vos personnages une seconde chance. That's right. I think they believe that travel, uh, Douglas believes that travel is the key. That, um, that if they go somewhere new, that they will see, they will become new, that they will see each other in a new way. And he also wants everything to be perfect. You know, he, he, he wants to kind of win her love, go back to places they went when they were younger, try and remember uh, why they fell in love. And it's a kind of crazy plan. For Douglas, but um, it's his one last hope because he still loves his wife. So, you know, there's even before they leave, there's an element of uh, desperation in the journey. Alors, dans ce roman, nous, euh, il y a aussi, euh, le, il y a le couple, mais il y a aussi le, le personnage du fils de 17 ans, Albi. Vous pouvez nous parler de ce personnage et pourquoi avez-vous souhaité euh, euh, parler aussi de la, de la relation de parents Parce que finalement, c'est pas si évident d'être parent. I, again, you know, I, I, uh, I've never written a teenager. You know, I've never written a 17-year-old. I have children, but they're very young. They're seven and nine, and they're very bright and fun and easy to get along with. And I, I just wanted to explore that difficult stage where you try to separate yourself from your parents, where you, you become the opposite of your parents. Um, when, when I was that age, it felt very heroic and bold and strong to become very important to become you know my own personality in opposition to my parents and i think now that i'm a parent and i'm looking at it from the other direction it feels potentially quite hurtful quite sad uh, to look at your son and not be able to see yourself so i wanted to explore the theme of unrequited love between a parent and a, a child which sounds very painful and, and it is terrible for Douglas. But I wanted there to be some hope in that relationship as well. So again, it was, it was a, a, an opportunity for me as a novelist to try something new and to explore something that feels important and painful and quite common as well, I suspect. <laughs> 